Are you serious? Are you serious? We have breaking news coming out of the Philippines, a horrific potential situation developing. I need prayer warriors involved in this because breaking news, just minutes ago, report coming in, ISIS has, ISIS rebels have taken by storm, they've taken a school, 300 ISIS Muslim militants have stormed a school in the Philippines and have taken the children hostage, according to reports by Reuters and Fox News. Philippine officials say these Muslim rebels are engaging the troops in a gun battle in the Pigawayan uh, school in North Cotabato in an attack that may be an attempt to divert the military's focus away from the militants who have laid siege on the southern city of Marawi, okay, where they've been for almost five weeks. 500 Muslim ISIS fighters took over a city of 200,000. That is absolutely insanity. And the Philippine army can't beat them. Why? Because that city is 90% Muslim. And there was a ton of sleeper cells waiting for the stormtroopers or for their comrades to come in. Then they started helping. Now, while that's going on and the army's been fighting for five weeks trying to eradicate that city from this stranglehold that ISIS has on them, 300 more ISIS fighters just go take a school. They could slaughter these children before this is all said and done. This is a horrific situation here. Police Chief Inspector Rilan Maman tells the Associated Press by telephone that the gunmen belonging to the band, the ISIS freedom fighters, raided the village, hit the Providence at dawn early this morning, engaged in government forces in a firefight, and uh, took the school. We can confirm they've occupied the school. There are civilians trapped inside. We are in the process of determining just how many are trapped. and Who is, how many students, and how many of them, who are they? And many of the, uh, the military spokesmen, Brigadier General... Rastiro Padella says that the gunman targeted a patrol base of pro-government militiamen and the attack may be an effort by the militants to divert troop focus. It, sure it is. It's more than just to divert. They're taking ground, dude. These guys aren't backing down. They got two. There's, do you understand? Radical Islam is a cancer. It's an absolute cancer. But that's all right. European Union is still leaving their doors open and allowing them to flow in there. And oh, by the way, so they got some dude in the in the train station yesterday, just setting things on fire, trying to blow stuff up. Uh, it's it's an everyday occurrence in Brussels, Belgium. There's been four uh, attacks in England in the last five or the last 10, 11 weeks. There's uh, chaos is constantly taking place in Paris. Manchester was a slaughterhouse at the at the concert in England. And then Mogadishu uh, was hit yesterday in a hotel. And this is every day. Baghdad, you know, uh, it doesn't matter. Mosul, Damascus, uh, Raqqa, it don't matter. Syria, uh, Iraq, the whole Middle East is absolutely... Iran even is getting hit by some of the radicals. It's insane what's going on. right? Now. Yemen's been overtaken by these Houthi rebels. It's madness in Somalia. It's insanity in a civil war of Muslims fighting in the South Sudan. Uh, do you even want to talk about what's going on, folks? Are you a realization of what's going on? No, 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 no. You don't want to because you got these left-wing leaning liberals sitting around wringing their hands marching down the street in the United States with no idea what they're doing. We got enemies in this country sitting on the federal benches blocking the president's ability to close the door. It's a cancer. It's a cancer. It is a cancer that's growing. Just ask the Philippines. What if that happened to your school? What if that happened? You said, oh, Paul, that can't America. The Philippines didn't see this coming. So what happens to your school? What are you going to do? Nothing. Congressman getting shot and so on. As long as it don't come down your street, right? 
But you better look over your shoulder when you're sitting in the backyard. They might be helping you. They might be standing next to you at the grill in your backyard barbecue. Maybe a jihadi who just been hanging around waiting for the opportunity. I know. Someone's going to say, I just went off the chain. You think I went unhinged. I'm not. Just go, go ask the parents at this school. Pray for the Philippines.